Want to know how not to pay for games on Steam? Install the Game Keys app and get the best games up to $50 absolutely free. Complete simple tasks and earn coins. Open the cases with a guaranteed Steam key inside. Download now and enjoy new games. Cindy or the smoke walking together with a dribbled out smoke from the B tunnels here. It's going to be shot serving things up, but X7 seconds. They've got to confront mid, it seems, because that's where they want to go. Kenny wants to open up from CT. It's not even going to be a split. They want to try and trade it immediately. As soon as he smokes middle like that, they're both going down. There's no chance Kenny hits this shot now as X7 perfectly positioned. They run around quickly. He'll still be on the ramp. So he'll rely on oh, flash is perfect. I was going to say, he'll still rely on the rifles, but it's Ariel and Alexa all there. So they have the information of Catwalk. They still get picked apart. And now Alexa on Goose has to stay all by himself. Oh. They line up for him. That's pretty good. He gets two. Now his teammates are encouraged to rotate the advantage back out. It's flash as well. USP, Alexi B. He's got four. It's going to be Sergey. The back of the pack. As the nade comes in, it's a little bit late. Kenny's actually putting that right behind them, but it doesn't look to be a problem. He will go down to the Glock, but Shox is there to defend with the M4. He's certainly going to have to get that one ready. The nade didn't do it, but soften them up either way with the MP5, and the M4 closes out. Sergey down. So G2 lucky. Despite... He manages to take down Ariel at the very start of the round, but he's exposed right now. Alu makes a few pop shots, but his teammate's getting tagged up. I'm sure that seven goes down. Indeed, he will. Tags under the window, has body to play off of trying to do exactly that, but it's still going to fall apart for them. Alu and Sergey getting the kills. This could be 11 for Entz, but at the same time, they've escaped. They've got away. They've left it at two on two, and they've still got the bomb. That's the important asset in this round, in this occasion. So they want to try and rotate it off. They split the defense up. They're going to play this in a 1 1 situation on the CT side. These are the two young guns of G2 who need to prove themselves here. Lucky and Jax. Up against Alu and Sergey, two of the hardest hitting players oh, on the end side. Just pinch position though. If they're gonna go one one on either side, this is a very clever way of doing it because they pinch it off entirely. The peak, he knows it, Jax. He oh. can't get it back in time. He had 14. three kills of the rest. This was the initial boost. Rain gets it done. You can see his frag total swelling in this round. He hadn't really done much before this, but it's good to see right now. That's why you're walking in backwards. Ricky again. He loves this Zeus. He Ricky actually Zeus. uses it in his gameplay. It's not a troll, it's not a meme. He's comfortable and confident, and that's why. Third kill he's gotten in this event on a Zeus. And Stan's in the open. Stan is in the open, but he's covered it off. Ricky's got a dread, and they lost nothing, but now Stan, having won his duel, can still hold the beast. Side force back by the flames, but he can get behind the box. They threw it to whoa, five force whoa. around, and they gave him room to fight. He fight, he will. He gets two, and it's on to just Guardian. Complexity might take map one right now. Unless he can absolutely pull off a miracle with six seconds left. There's no time to plant two good shots, but it's over. He didn't get there in time. It's done. Complexity on time. Bomb almost touched the ground. It was so close, but it's what she's going to do now. Adren's won it out. Nothing's got the shot back on Guardian, but Adren doubles down and finds Shazam as well. 12 seconds and they have to cross. No utility in front of nothing to do it. A low HP as well on Olaf. He's the one with the bomb, but he makes it. He just barely makes it, and Adren triples up. He's got a third. And the bomb gets planted as a result. All to play for now. Equal situation, two on two. All off slow, so Stan. No grenades on the CT side. They're going to have to take the straight up jewels here. Adren caught out. All off Mice is still on the side here. Can he get one? Probably get Stan, but the trade will surely come through. Ricky trying to separate them here. Can't get the, the first. CT side for complexity. And a round where FaZe looked like they were done for. He pulls it right back. This man in the screen right here. And just by getting in that battle with nothing, he forced him to reload. And that was the exact moment that Olaf crossed. Olaf had 12. Already in waiting for it. Couldn't, couldn't stand. He's got him down. He's going to go aggressive with the AUG as well. Wants more. Molotov, Olaf's inside of it. Stan knows he's locked into the fight. He turns around and takes it, takes him out of the round completely. Nico in a kind of an interesting call. I think he would have thrown the AUG out the window behind him at B, so he can rotate back onto it if they... And Rain. For that matter, have found great success towards this window boost. This kill comes up a stand though. Could be a good chance of closing out the round. Bomb dropped. Nico's still in position. He'll flash towards Shaw here and try and answer back. Time running out though, but Adren still fragging hard. Absolutely, he is. This comes back level. It's another situation they had to leave, but Stan, oh, 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 nearly caught out. 15 seconds. Just needs to buy time and space. Doesn't need to get caught at all, but he's done it. He's got it. Starts the round. And it's and just off a little bit. Automatic now the next up. 
There's so much cover of smoke, so it's just disappearing. He's going to go in towards water, in towards the grill, but this smoke is clearing now as well. And there's the peak from Automatic. Completely blind. I think that was a team flash, and he's in a scary spot. Yeah, with Dead Fox pretty low, this could get out of control for Hellraisers. Very important. They got the first kill onto Automatic. Now Rush and Flusher. Gonna try and turn the tides. Flusher is nowhere near his teammate, though. He's using the MP, UMP, pardon me, towards the CT side. So it's almost like he's checked out of this round already. Now he's gonna move in. No cohesion between the last two remaining CTs. Flusher looking for exit frag. He's gonna get one, but should be taken down in return. And yeah, Hellraiser. The smoke hasn't faded yet. Automatic, part of that is a little bit of luck, because Automatic just takes a shot through the smoke and is able to leg somebody. Here we go. Push towards Banana. There's the Molotov fighting in the flames. You'd think the Hellraisers would be good at it. And Hobbit's at 1 HP. And hey, it's his plays. Automatic willing to get involved, but he's never, surely never going to expect Dead Fox. And this is where the HP on Automatic, remember, he hasn't taken damage from an opponent. It's all been a teammate. Automatic's going to be a free kill, but it'll also give things up. Rush will know exactly what's going to happen, actually. The trigger discipline. This is amazing. He's got to be careful, Rush. Not aware. Great round from Dead Fox. Angel's got a little mindful bit of, of his rotations because... He wants to make sure Hobbit feels secure at the B-bomb site. But in doing so, now A is even more vulnerable. It's even more sketchy for Hellraisers. Here comes Vox, he's only gonna get one. Oh no, gets a second flusher! The Mac 10 betrays him and Vox is gonna chip in for a third. Oh dearie me. He can't fake towards A. He's just gotta come out here and land headshots. He sees the first player, it's Issa. Here comes Dead Fox. Is he up to the task? Flusher has been an absolute beast this game. 27 kills in the first map. And could be on for more. 15 seconds. Can hear the footsteps going left and right. Now got the bomb under his control, and out comes Dead Fox. Flusher with another clutch. And now only a uh, Grenade alongside it as Dead Fox is found. There goes the grenade to the back of the sights, doing a lot of damage. And Issa, he's gonna get himself too, but here comes Automatic. Is he gonna be able to clutch? He does land the shot onto Angel, but it's partially through the floor, so it's down to 17 as opposed to the outright kill. But the P250 really comes in, and Cloud9 have done it again. Another clutch. They keep the souls shattered of Hellraiser. Hobbit remaining. They don't have control of the bomb just yet. Now they've picked it up as Hobbit gets himself another one. Oh, Rush has Angel pinned down at Forklift. They don't really have a Molotov or nades to flush him out. I think that reload is going to give Angel the opportunity to swing out to a new position. Celsius has to be careful. This is a tough spot to handle on the retake. This is a pretty powerful position, especially with Rush waiting over towards Quad. There's no kits. Clonide not yet pulling the trigger on this retake. Hellraisers must have this round, and the bomb is pretty deep into the timer. Here comes the fight. Hobbit gonna hold on. Great headshot on the rush. There goes his teammate. Tap of the bomb. Hobbit's got a peek. He's gonna find another, and I think this seals it. I don't think there's time. Even if Keo gets this kill, he does find it. But there's no way. Just gonna save an AK-47, a kit out in the open, but two... Tony there with the Orc on MBK. The smoke's starting to subside. Hellraisers, they don't have time to play with anymore. They need to start pushing through, make the most of this utility. Beautiful counter flash. It forces them back into A main. A rush with a triple spray. We'll get Cloud9 one step closer to survival. Voxic, all he can do is sit and look over the rubble of the A site. And his teammates were unable to do anything. He's going to take down Zealous with him, but really matter all things considered he's also being tagged up through the wall of course and finished by a they come through the smoke he'll be just fine they're expecting one of these two flashes to be used that hellraisers have but 15 seconds and they're taking some damage now hobbit down to just 13 this could be it this could be a finished off it's looking very likely cloud nine one kill away from doing it two zero it's just gonna be able to get one but no more hellraisers eliminated cloud nine there is to scale and perhaps have the depth the tactical prowess on the end side of things See if Krizen, kicker, can match that of James Alu. He's gonna rotate back around the stairs. Ariel's already found Krizen. That's gonna put down Sandwich, which means they can get deeper in from CT. Low HP on three. Buster has to swing. He has to go wide. The problem is now the bomb's on the wrong side of the oh. boxes, but Kicker, he's got the lineup and doubles up. In fact, Avangar, great start to take the first round. The P250 in the next seven and another to connect, and it's now gonna be a three versus two. And they do have kits available here. And headshots, it seems, as X7 looks towards CT spawn. There is a player there, and he needs to be aware of it. Spots him, and remember, no armor. You will melt even through the box here. It's gonna be the one versus one. Fitch does manage to bring it back in 
At least some sort of He's contention gonna here. He's going to hold. I don't know why Fitch doesn't consider this. He's already on it behind the boxes. Fitch is a little bit late. And, short, and he knows it. Instead, opts to fall back, and he's been spotted. Thankfully, I was about to say, Jame didn't fire, so has the element of surprise. But now, that's been given away. Lexi goes back to the bomb side floor. They might not be aware of this. They'll work together, but the AK, oh, it's looked away. If it was looking at the door then, certain the round goes his direction. They're so low, he can still trade this. If they get anywhere near the bomb and they try and force the defuse and they're lined up, AK wins it. He now knows one is there. He's got it easily. Sees the gun. He wants the time in his favor because he knows he's also on 36. He knows he's tradable. Down goes the first. That's the round. James can't do anything with the AWP. And he knows he's got to try and escape as well, which means he can hold him with the AK bomb. We'll take everyone down at this point, but it's 13 Still to 6. The side of that at B. He can get back to A likely just as quick. Chances are... You could go for a split at this point with X7 going in A main. Bombs out toward Ivy, suggestive that it's still going to be on A. But the other option to this is exactly what Sergey and Alexi B seem to have in mind. Push through B, at the very least, you cause concern for rotation, but you can push him behind. The problem with that is that Buster on the high ground was able to detect no one else was inside the brown halls, wow. and no one left the A site, so Fitch Alu's left alone. Ariel didn't see anyone at A main, and they countered off the player at Bop Dog, but now it's all in Alu. Bomb's going to go down there very far forward. This is a good post plant. Ants might have to wait. They might have to consider just giving it up for one more round. They've got money enough, but they've got the AWP on Alu, and they don't want to give Avagar any further chances to get back in. That's it. Alexi B gives it a go. Krizen, he's found. They know he's up there, but he's so far forward, it's hard to get past him. And they'll run into him yet again. Ariel with one. Alu's gotten closer. AWP down the tanker side. Ariel. Fitch to drop as well. It's a two on two. Nade, it's going to land on top of the bomb. It's a smoke. Jamin on AWP switches to the knife. It's all he has to work with. They're on it. They tap it. They want to bait him out. He's swinging. He's swinging, but oh. he's missing. They're going to get it in the smoke. And they're going to be oh, legendary on one defuse. 16 to seven. And Avangar goes down, but ends are through. What? Lacro long range, but the scout's going to reign supreme. And now RPK, oh. oh, two headshots in quick succession. This is now doable. Actually, it's very possible. Forrest is just down to 11 health. He's got enough time to get the bomb planted. The P250 comes up massive. He's also got the Galil. He's going to smoke out just to allow himself the opportunity. And RPK has got the clutch. Smoke off the Molotov. Actually, the damage is actually more inflicted on the Vitality side. The Deagle gets one kill. That's a low HP player. Force is going to chime in. And now NIP can just wait. They don't have to be the aggressors, but they're winning every fight. RPK and Zaiwu are going to go down at the end. And NIP are going to respond in this third round. They turn it right back. That is unbelievable. Maybe RPK can do damage again, but... Highway and mid. But its attention is taken away. His gaze is averted. Apex is out of the forklift. Alex pressuring the truck. Three, four players coming in for NIP to defend this. We need some stellar entries. It's not going to happen, at least from Alex. But Apex, as we know he can do, what a great flick from Lecro. He's managing this so well, and he's still alive. Now he has to chase him down. Forrest has the angle. So that's side. But Dennis, kind of using the E-Box to perch up. He can't see over the smoke. It is just pistols across on Vitality. And Forrest now going to claim two. It's also going to stop any aggression from the site. They've all been cleaned up nicely. Alex, last player left. Four kills for Forrest, but he's not going to... I blame it on all the pierogies. <laughs> well, let's see if Vitality can sweep aside that very poor first half and come back with a blaze of glory. MBK and Zaiwu going to try their best, but Lacro and Get Right are going to be able to get two kills of their own. Bomb's been dropped on court. Zaiwu is now feeling it. He is landing headshots. Oh my goodness, a 4K! And Vitality pick up the second Change. pistol. Still five rounds left to be played. Three rounds at this point isn't great, but it's not bad either. They can still close this gap a little bit and have a great chance, and oh, that's awkward. They get caught. I think they're trying to do a run boost, and this has backfired horribly, although Zaiwu's gonna cover it, and there's Apex as well. Somehow, Vitality has sustained, and Zaiwu still delivers a triple kill with the AWP. Yeah, you're living very much on a hot spot there. Flashbangs are solid by Nip. It's gonna draw away the CTs into the more close-knit angles of bathroom. Not really where the AWP's at its most powerful. MBK and Zaiwu are both feeling their sting, but Zaiwu comes out with one. Looking for a second and finds it through the smoke. Get right has been sent, relaying, and he gets the third. Unbelievable individual start. effort. I feel like the explosiveness of that round is just an indication of things to come. This Mirage could get really hot real quick. MBK's been tagged up, and Dennis is going to find Zaiwu. Some 
Pistols were picked up, but they've all been taken away. And Dennis is actually on for the ace. He's picked up four. Hasn't even lost a single point of damage. Find Apex. Gonna try and stop this. No one's covering it. NBK's not watching. I think it might be a flank. The bomb gets planted. Get right's gonna do it. A double kill for the legend. And NIP on five. And he was loving it. Here we well. go. It's a one on one. It's position compromised. But Dennis, only with 20 health, does have an op to his name. Going to smoke on and try and get the bomb defusal in amongst it. RPK spraying. I'm not entirely sure where the bomb's planted for. Oh, not like this, RPK. The tank is about to come to pieces. He assumes it's a fake, but it's not. NIP get the ninja defuse in the smoke. Impact. Apex is going to step in front of the smokes. He's going to get in before it plumes. Now he's over at Triple Box, completely blind. This is a tough situation to be in. NBK is going to get two, though. He's going to hold so well. No one from NIP, any kind of aggression. And NBK, the captain of Vitality, gets four, and he holds on strong. Six to four star started rosters on each side of the map. We're going to get right into it with this pistol round. Elimination for one of these teams. Top eight, legend status for the other. Nico. Gonna get aggressive. He might get caught in no man's land. But they're gonna get aggressive. Pop flash comes in, and there's Rain with the opening two kills. A third, and Nico's gonna chime in as well. Cloud9 is stopped before they can begin. Off as an HE grenade. There's the Molotov. That could slow things down. All of his force out of position. They're looking towards mid. No one's really covering that. Rain has gone passive. They can peek up. That would be a big fight for Flush and a win. Does damage. Nico with the AWP. He recovers in time. Another chance, and he's got that as well. No plant going to go down. FaZe ain't going to let that happen. And Automatic, the last one left, but he can't get away. He needs to save this weapon. It's not going to happen. Nico with four kills on the defense. so defend. huge. It turned into them. the dynamic of this round, but Celsius not anticipating the vent. Dren in middle. He's going to be able to cut off anyone trying to push into this site. Now in CT spawn, he's going to move in, but now he's got to turn back. And there's no way for him to stop this defuse. Uh, this, cloud, this round has turned around about six different times. And unfortunately for FaZe, they're going to come out on the losing end. Flush on the bomb, and the defuser is out of vision. Good kill for Adren. Why, what? why did stopped. he come off? Oh no, Adren has a chance. Flush are normally so clutch. And now Adren can get into the site. He's sticking it one more time. Adren, certainly not. He gets off it once more, and Adren... Flush is going to have to dip out of there. There's so many Molotovs, he runs into another one. He just can't catch a break, but it's going to find some spray. Lands two kills. How is he still alive? On 16 health, he's done so much work by himself. Unbelievable. And he's picked up another one. What? The damage is just being inflicted. Nico's landed a beautiful one tap onto Celsius, leaving it a one on one. Flusher against Nico. Nico's trying his best, but Flusher holds on for dear life, and Cloud9 will get a third round. Yeah, that's rough for Nico. He. You do love to see that, even at 11 to 2. Wow. This is why we like Flusher. <laughs> even switching out guns. I love everything about that. <laughs> even playing with the Diffuse, which, you know, not going to give anything away. Nico going in first with a scout. Can he land some majestic shots? Oh, oh! my goodness! The shot onto Rush is sublime! But it's not going to be enough to yield the round more than likely. Look to try and pincer as many players as he can. Olaf Meister's Org is all too strong. And it's going to be a, almost a clean sweep for FaZe. Although Automatic did just take down Olaf Meister. Guardian missed one too many shots with his AWP. With that smoke, he could maybe try and get his hands on the bomb. He's done just that. And also lands a shot onto Guardian. This is now getting really costly for FaZe Clan. He's never going to expect Adren to be this close. Nico's going to call out the cross, so Adren will keep creep ever closer. Automatic taps the bomb. No one is even within position to hear it. Nico's still so far back, being cautious, but he just be. Oh, Automatic! That is incredible! Oh, Cloud9 are going all in for this. There's no flashes there. Finally, it comes out, but Rain's already struck for one. Nico is to be able to get one as well. Oh, it's all coming apart. It's all coming apart at the seams for Cloud9. They're not going to get a single kill in the round. And FaZe have six opportunities to secure their position.